What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Dominic Rich and in today's video I'll be doing a tier list for the CONCACAF 2022 World Cup qualifiers where I'm going to let you guys know if I think the teams are going to qualify and if I think they have a good chance I just broke them down into categories here and I have six categories that I'm going to introduce to you right now Countries that will definitely qualify Countries that have a very good chance of qualifying Teams that I think have an outside chance of making it teams i think are not good enough absolutely won't qualify so i have a category called absolutely not and the final category is too much to ask so guys what i want you to do is to sit back relax and enjoy the show so guys seeing that CONCACAF have switched up their world cup qualifying format where the five highest ranked teams according to the fifa rankings will be in the third round and three teams could join them in that third round to make up the octagonal. But the catch is there will be a first round played between the teams outside of that octagonal. And there will be a second round played between the group winners. And then the three best team will join the five to make up the last eight. So obviously the top five teams, they're going to be in the higher tiers. Of course, they have a better chance of making it because they're already in the third round. But the teams in the first round right now, they're going to fill up the other tiers. They could even fill up the top tiers as well. And I'm going to give you my opinion in this video. So let's get this thing cracking. So guys, I have something very special to open right now. And this, what I'm opening here, would make for a very, very good gift for the football lover in your family, for a friend, or anyone you hold very close to your heart. I'm going to open it right now. This is going to be the big unveiling of this fresh card i have one on the wall here but i want to just unveil this one in this video because i think this is a special video too so this card here i got from cardsblog.com slash dominic rich you could head on over to the site all the links will be in the description box down below and you could get one of these off your own to actually give to a loved one let's take this is the first time i'm looking at this card it's been a while since i got it but it took some time to actually open it and I think this is a play of the month card from the Premier League. And I got myself the old Manchester City logo and all. It looks nice, right? USA. Woo. USA because I'm all about the CONCACAF region. That one over there had the St. Vincent badge on it. And I have my picture with me in this very, very, very sweater right here. And it's, it's good. It's good. I love it. I love it. I love it. So guys, make sure you head on over to cardsplug.com slash Dominic Rich FC. Use the coupon code Dominic Rich FC to get yourself 15% off on one of these bad boys right here. You definitely won't regret it. So look, this is how it's going to look over here. You see that? Bam. I'm going to put it up on the wall as soon as I'm done. So thanks in advance. You're the MVP. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the first round where I break down each group and let you know where I think each team would actually end up at the end of the World Cup qualifiers. And we're going to start with group A in round one. So guys, the first group I want to start with is group A. In group A, there's El Salvador, Antigua, Barbuda, Grenada, Montserrat, and the US Virgin Islands. Only one team are going to get out the group. There's not first and second, it's just first. So right off the bat, let's start with the US Virgin Islands here. And guys, I think this will be way too much to ask for the US Virgin Islands. So we're going to put them in the way too much to ask, you know, way, way too much to ask section. It's too much to ask, but I'm just adding the way because I don't think they stand a chance of getting out of this group. So that's that for the US Virgin Islands. Then we're going to move on to Antigua and Barbuda, where I'm going to say absolutely not. Absolute, I don't think they stand a chance of getting out of this group. Next, Montserrat. Guys, one of the smallest nations in the Caribbean. The population was definitely affected by a series of volcanic eruption in recent times. And they have been good though in terms of on the football field. So Montserrat, I think Montserrat... Ah, Montserrat, this one is a bit tricky. They almost qualify for the Gold Cup. But to be honest, to be honest, I think this would actually be a bit... Mm, I'm kind of... Look, for Montserrat, I'm going to say... I'm going to say 
they're, they're decent, but they're not good enough. They're not good enough to qualify for the World Cup. They're not good enough to qualify for the World This is the World Cup we're talking about, you know. This is not the final round. I don't think they're good enough to qualify for the World Cup at all. Next, we move on to Grenada. They actually won their group in the last CONCACAF Nations League. So, for Grenada, though. For Grenada. Ah. <sighs> This one is another tricky one because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to sell them short in a way. I don't want to say they're not good enough. I don't want to say it's too much to ask. But to be honest, man, to be honest, in terms of World Cup qualification, I think, I think, I, I think it's too much. I think, I think they, they, they're not good enough. I'm going to say not good enough. I'm going to say not good enough. I'm going to say not good enough. What do you guys think? Let me know in the chat below. So for the last team in the group, guys, it's El Salvador. This one isn't so tricky, to be honest, because even though they're favorites to get out of this group, what's going to happen in the second round and the third round when they meet the likes of the USA, Mexico, Costa Rica, Jamaica, Honduras? So I'm going to say for El Salvador, though, that they're definitely they're not good enough. So El Salvador... I'm going to say they're not good enough to make it. So even though they stand a chance of getting out of the group, they're not good enough. And the same goes for Grenada and Montserrat. Fair enough, right? Fair enough. I think, that, I think that's pretty fair. I think that's fair. So let's move on to the next group, guys, where we have Canada, Suriname, Bermuda, the Cayman Islands, and Aruba. So let's start with the Cayman Islands first. Let's start with the Cayman. So Cayman Islands, I think this is their flag. Cayman Islands, I think it's too much to ask for them. Way too much to ask and they won't make it. So the next team we're gonna talk about is Aruba. For Aruba, I'm gonna say absolutely not. In terms of the Dutch Antilles, they're not the best one at all. So I'm gonna say Aruba does not make it to the 2022 World Cup. Absolutely not. Remember guys, it's a tear list, so not a whole lot of analysis is needed here. I've made up my mind, Aruba is not gonna be amongst the 32 teams or even the probables to make the damn thing. So guys, the next team on the list is Suriname. For Suriname, guys, I'm gonna say they're not good enough. They stand a chance of getting out of this group, but it's gonna be very hard and they're not good enough to make it to the World Cup at all. Seriously. That's my early prediction. Then we have Bermuda, who has definitely shown a lot of promise in the recent Gold Cup and the recent CONCACAF Nations League and all. But I'm going to say it's too much to ask of Naki Wells and Kyle Lightburn and the other guys to actually, Reggie Lambe and all these guys to actually qualify for a World Cup. This is not a Gold Cup, you know. This is a World Cup. So I'm going to put them in the too much to ask category which leaves us canada guys for canada though canada i'm gonna put it right here i think canada has a very good chance of making it to the next world cup with the likes of alfonso davies jonathan david mark anthony kai and you know you have like kyle Lauren, junior hoylet all these guys man they, they have a very talented outfit with john herdman at the helm i know they've recently shown a bit of frailty in terms of their loss against haiti in the gold cup and then they beat the usa and then they lost the, the second leg so canada they need to get their act together but what we've seen recently of alfonso davies and jonathan david these two guys alone could inspire canada to a world cup qualification spot they will make it to the 2026 as co-hosts but we're talking about the 2022 event here where i do think canada has a very very good chance of making it to the event but they will get out the group in my opinion they will get out of this group i do have to make a separate video predicting the groups but i think they will get out the group but they can meet a haiti in the second round a team that defeated them in the gold cup and it's gonna be very 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 tense it's gonna be a fun one to watch as well so canada i think has a very very good chance based on the pedigree of the players in their team the next group is group c where we have curacao guatemala st vincent and the grenadines yeah guys that is my country right there st vincent and the grenadines i'm proud to be a vincentian so it's gonna be interesting to see where i'm gonna put st vincent right there's also cuba and the british virgin islands in the group so let's start with st vincent first man Guys, to be honest, 
I'm not gonna say absolutely not. I'm gonna I'm not gonna say they're not good enough, but I'm gonna say it's it's gonna be too much to ask for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's gonna be way too much to ask, man. Very decent outfit, have shown promise in the past. The last World Cup, they did get to the last 12, almost made it. Not no, they didn't almost made it to the hex. We got battered, but we did score a goal against the USA, but we, we got battered in the other games. I think it's too much to ask. I'm going to give them a respectable place in the tear and say it's too much to ask. So all the best St. Vincent in this group. It's a very, very tough group where you have Curacao, Guatemala. Like Guatemala, why do we have to play Guatemala so often? Why? Is this draw rigged or something? Are the draws rigged? Why are we playing Guatemala so often? Guatemala, just ride off, man. Ride off for us. Seriously. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? Right off. And you know what? Every time I talk about St. Vincent and Guatemala, I remember I had this little Guatemala friend back in the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, let us move on, man. Let us move on. Let us move on. Guatemala. Let's talk about Guatemala. I don't think they're good enough. I don't think they're good enough. Guatemala is, is like a team. It's kind of weird. They have never, ever made it to the World Cup. They have gotten close on a few occasions, but... The World Cup is just something that has been eluding the Guatemala national team. Is this their chance? I don't think so. Not good enough, in my opinion. The next one, though, is a fun one. Curacao. Curacao. This one is a fun one. This one is a fun one. And this is the first team that I'm going to put in this tear here. And I'm going to say they have an outside chance of making it to the World Cup. Outside chance. They recently appointed Gus Hedink, a man that has been at the World Cup before, a man that has managed many big teams, including Chelsea, Gus Hedink at the helm. With Hedink at the helm of the QSL national team, he would attract a lot of nationals who are in the Dutch setup, like, you know, let's say the Eredivisie, to come and play for the QSL national team. So that's going to strengthen the squad. A lot of players who are based in the Netherlands have already played for the QSL national team and the squad could only get better and better and better. The Bakunia brothers, you know, want to watch. They have Gary as well. And they have guys like Room, Hoy. You have, you know, you have the... Oh, man. QSL is one of the most exciting teams in the Caribbean and in CONCACAF. And I do think they stand an outside chance of making it to the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar and I'm going to put them there as an outside chance. It would be great. They would be a debutant and I love debutants at World Cups. It makes things a bit more fun and interesting. You know what I mean? You don't want to be boring and say the typical teams are going to make it but QSL does have an outside chance. Next up, we have the British Virgin Islands and I'm going to put them in the absolutely not category definitely not they won't make it they don't they don't even stand a chance of getting out of this group so we don't even need to linger on the tiny territory of british virgin islands anymore we don't so next up guys we have the largest nation in the caribbean cuba oh man this one is gonna be fun i'm gonna put cuba in not good enough simply because all their players keep defecting to america and canada every time there's a tournament so the team keeps getting weaker and weaker there's no continuity there's no chemistry so cuba they're not good enough the team has just been depleted year after year after year so until the players just stick you know stay in cuba and play for the national team and stop trying to come to america or canada they won't qualify for a world cup again they did make it to a world cup back in the day i think it was 1938 if i'm not mistaken and I think that would be their only ever appearance. If they don't stop defecting, that is. So that's it for Group C. So we're going to move on to Group D. In Group D, there's Panama, Dominican Republic, Barbados, Dominica, and Anguilla. Or as my boy, Football Pharaoh, always say, Anguilla. And that's a shout out to you, Football Pharaoh. What up? So let's start with Anguilla. I'm going to put them in the absolutely not category. I don't think they stand a chance of making it to the 2022 World Cup. So, sorry Anguilla, but no World Cup for you, baby. Dominica. Oh, man. My namesake country. I'm going to put them in absolutely not too. 
won't make it. Barbados, I'm gonna put Barbados in. Hmm, too much to ask, way too much to ask for Barbados. They won't make it at all. The Dominican Republic, I'm gonna say the DR. Uh, not good enough, not good enough DR. Sorry, not good enough, you won't be at the World Cup. And the final one guys, it's Panama. I'm gonna say the 2018 World Cup debutants. They got an outside chance of making it to the World Cup again. But they would have to get out the group first and then get up, get past the second round and then contest with the, the five in the hex and, and the two others that make it. But Panama's form has not been good in recent times. I think Panama recently lost to Baham, the, the wait, not the Bahamas, to Bermuda? And since the World Cup, they have already changed their manager four times. That's crazy. Four times! Gary Stempel, Julio Deli Valdez, and Amerigo Gallego has already been hired and sacked. Which means this is a team in turmoil right now. They can't make up their minds on who they want to manage the team going forward. Their latest coach is the 47-year-old Thomas Christensen from Denmark. And he has been trusted with the job to lead Panama towards the 2022 World Cup. It's going to be a hell of a job. The team hasn't got a lot better. And Panama, it's just a rough one to predict, seriously. But I'm going to say they have an outside chance. So guys, we move on to Group E. In Group E, we have Haiti, Nicaragua, Belize, St. Lucia, and Turks and Caicos. So let's start with St. Lucia first. I'm going to say absolutely not. That's the country where my wife is from, and I'm going to say, wife, your country absolutely does not qualify for the 2022 World Cup. Absolutely not. No chance. So, you could actually, you, there, there's not a no chance category. There's an outside chance, but there is no outside chance. You just have no chance, St. Lucia. And I'm not even hating on St. Lucia or anything. I love my Lucians, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, but... They, they're not qualifying for the World Cup at all. It ain't happening. So let's move on to the next team, Nicaragua. They are a Gold Cup team. There's Haiti in the team. So I think it's between Haiti and Nicaragua who's going to come out of this group. But Haiti, as we know, guys, they can falter. They could falter. I like the Haitian team and all, but they can definitely falter and allow Nicaragua to get out of this group. If Nicaragua does get out of this group, could they get past the second round and into the last eight? Maybe they can, but while in the last eight, can they? Can they really contest for one of these three and a half places? Uh, guys, I, I think I think Nicaragua isn't good enough. I'm going to put them in the not good enough section. There's a lot of teams here that are not good enough to qualify for the World Cup, in my opinion. And Nicaragua are definitely one of them. So the next team we're going to move on to is the Turks and Caicos. Very, very small territory there. I'm going to say absolutely not. They do not qualify for the 2022 World Cup. And I'm dead serious about that. You see my face, right? Dead serious. The next country, Central American nation of Belize. I'm going to say absolutely not. The Belize team is so bad that they even, even forfeited a match recently in the CONCACAF Nations League. So for that, Belize... You, you stand no chance. Absolutely not you're qualifying for the World Cup. Even if you get out the group, you won't get past the second round. And you would definitely not do a goddamn thing in the octagonal. Seriously. So, for Belize, no. And last but not least in the group, guys, we have Haiti. I'm going to actually put Haiti in the outside chance of making it to the World Cup. You know why? You know why I did that? Because if Haiti wins this group... They would meet most likely Canada. Could Haiti get past Canada? Yeah, but if they get past Canada, guys, it's going to be very, very tough in the last eight. And I'm going to give them an outside chance. I'm not going to say they will definitely qualify for the World Cup. Come on, I can't do that. I got to give Haiti an outside chance here. Definitely. So that's it for that group. And we're going to move on to the final group. And it's getting, it's getting down to the last five, guys. So just brace yourselves. So in the final group, Group F, we have Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, St. Kitts and Nevis, Puerto Rico, and the Bahamas. So let's start with Guyana. I'm going to put them in the absolutely not category. I don't think Guyana stand a chance of qualifying for the World Cup. They did qualify for the last Gold Cup because of some technical reasons. But I don't think they stand a chance of making it to the 2022 World Cup. They're not that good, to be honest. Guyana, no. 
try again next time. So the next team we have is Puerto Rico. I think it's too much to ask for Puerto Rico. They, they are United States territory. And I don't, Puerto Rico has never really been a footballing nation, more of a baseball nation. So I'm gonna say Puerto Rico, too much to ask for them, sorry. St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, not good enough. Definitely not good enough. They won't make it. If they do get past the group, they have an El Salvador or one of the other teams in group A to play in the next round. And I don't think they'll get past them definitely won't the bahamas guys i'm gonna say absolutely not the last team that would fit into that tear definitely won't make it guys a lot of teams from the islands the caribbean they're not that good we, got, we gotta keep it real here and the last team guys the last team outside the octagonal we have tnt trinidad and tobago the soca warriors guys they do have an outside chance they do have an outside chance but they do have an outside chance because if they win this group, which I think they should, they would meet an El Salvador in group A, I think, or they could meet a Grenada, a Montserrat, or Antigua and Barbuda because A plays F. Guys, they could get past that, but in terms of the hex and what Trinidad has been doing recently, even though they were the team responsible for the USA not making it to the last World Cup, I'm gonna put Trinidad into the not good enough category. Not good, they, they have been horrible and they're not good enough. They won't make it to the 2022 World Cup. They, they made it to the 2006 World Cup and all where Dwight York got to play at the World Cup for the first time and everything and like Russell Lapperty and guys like Shaka Hislop but, and Dennis Lawrence, the current manager, the current coach. But look man, they're not doing good. They're not good enough and they won't make it. I made up my mind. So now down to the last five guys. We're down to the last five. And we are going to start with Honduras. The H. Honduras. Honduras does stand a very good chance of making it to the World Cup though. But the, the, the team have not got better over the years to be honest. So they have a very good chance. But I'm going to actually put them in the outside chance category. For making it to the world cup even though you're in the last five you could still be in the too much to ask or absolutely not category in my opinion but i think for honduras they do have an outside chance of making it to the 2022 fifa world cup the next team we are going to talk about is costa rica mm. guys remember it's only three teams get automatic qualification three out of eight is costa rica good enough right now to to be one of those teams Kelo Navas, only 33 years old, he will be amongst the World Cup qualifying squad. I think he only show up for these big games and he's very hard to beat in goal. So I think they have a very good chance. I won't put them in the will definitely qualify category, but they have a very, very good chance of making it. Next up, guys, Jamaica. Jamaica. Out of eight teams, could Jamaica take one of three spots? This one is a difficult one. I like the Jamaica national team. I really like the team and all. But look. Mm. Ah. I think they have a very good chance of making it to the World Cup. This has been one of their best chances in a very, very long time. But Theodore Whitmore, you can't play games, man. You cannot play games. You have to try to round up as many nationals you can that's playing in the, the, the Premier League and the Championship in England and convince these guys the Jamaica FA you need to convince these guys to come and play for the Jamaica national team. They have been good in recent Gold Cups. They have been good in the, the CONCACAF Nations League. And all roads are leading to Jamaica making it to the World Cup again. But to be honest, guys, I think the new form of change have definitely screwed Jamaica a bit. Because if it was a hexagonal, where they already were in the hex, it would have been a bit easier with the old format where only six teams would have contested for the, the the three and a half spots and then a team from outside the hex would have played against the fourth place team for that you know half spot but having eight teams in 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 the octagonal now in the in the final stage makes it a lot harder for jamaica because let's say you have a canada to come in or a haiti to come in even a trinidad and tobago to come in 
Curacao to come in. It's going to be a lot harder. And El Salvador, to, it's going to be a lot harder. And by the way, El Salvador, they were kind of screwed over by the new form of change too because they were in the hex. So, oh, yeah, ah, ah, politics, man. It's all politics. But for Jamaica, I'm going to put them in a very good chance of making it to the World Cup. And I'm not even putting them in a very good chance because I'm scared of all the Jamaican people going to come in the comments and say, Yo, dash with yourself, man. You don't know what the hell you're talking about, Jamaica not making it to the World Cup. So I, that's not the reason why I'm doing that. I'm going to do that because I think Jamaica have a very good chance and I would love to see them at the World Cup for the first time since 1998. So all the best to the reggae boys. You know what I'm saying? Move up. So... The last two teams we have here are arguably the two best teams in the CONCACAF region. Mexico and the USA. So Mexico, they're the only team I'm going to put right now so far in the will definitely qualify spot. I know for the 2014 World Cup they almost didn't, but Mexico will definitely qualify. They will qualify. Tata Martino and his boys, if he's still there, will qualify. You have Raul Jimenez, Andres Guardado should still be there. Young talents like Lozano. You know what I mean? You have guys like Linez. Ochoa, if he's still there, I think he should still be around. I don't know if he still stick around. But the likes of Chicharito and these guys are phased out. But you have Tecacito. He's still, you know, doing well. He's over there. Porto doing very, very well. You have the likes of Hector Herrera. The team is still very, very, very good. It's still very 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 good and there's a lot of names i'm not calling right now the dos santos brothers edson alvarez you have uriel antuna did i even mention raul jimenez banging them in for wolves for fun and one of my favorite players on the mexican team rodolfo pizarro of course and i know i'm not mentioning a lot of other names but the team is a solid solid team and i think mexico will definitely qualify for the next world cup and last but not least guys the usa i got this usa cap and i figured i'll wear it today ah the usa i, I think the usa have a very good chance of making it to the world cup this time around i'm not gonna say they will definitely make it to the world cup because Greg Berhalter and these guys have been, you know, frustrating to watch at times. So I'm going to say they have a very good chance of making it to the World Cup. Especially with the likes of Christian Pulisic if he stays fit. Weston McKenney if he stays fit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Zach Steffen. You have so many young talents coming up. Timothy Weyer if he stays fit. Tyler Adams if he stays fit. Ah, there's a lot of fitness issues around the stars that's, that are in the USA team. John Brooks have been doing well. Tim Ream, all these guys have been doing well recently. But are they going to be fit to contest this World Cup qualifiers and get the USA back at the big event? You have the likes of Giovanni Reina coming through. You have Sergino Des coming through. The team is looking good. <laughs> you know, you have Reggie Cannon. The team is doing good. The team is looking good, I should say. Why, why did I say doing good? The team is looking good enough to qualify for the 22 20 20, 20. I'm stuttering. So maybe, maybe that's a sign that they won't. Maybe that's a sign. But I think they will. I really think, oh, what? I think they have a very good chance. I think they have a very, make up your mind, Dominic. I think the USA have a very good chance of making it to the World Cup. And that completes the tail list. That completes the tail list. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been planning this one for a very, very long time and I finally got it done. There will be more videos like this coming. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you share it with a friend, like the video, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. You could do the tell us if you want. Leave your comments down below. And I'd like to say thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out. Rich Squad.